Hi and welcome to today's morning report with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Handtech Markets for Wednesday the 29th of January. Um, please remember that this video is for informational purposes only and uh, make sure that you've read the disclaimer which is at the bottom of our morning report page on our website. Um, the big news overnight has certainly been at the, um, the Central Bank of Turkey which has hiked rates by 425 basis points, an enormous move there, up to 12% interest rates now in Turkey um, in an attempt to try and um, stave off this uh, big de um, decline in the value of the lira um, with dollar lira having a huge move up um, in recent days and certainly that, that's that been a big driver or indicative of um, one of the um, sorry indicative of the big move that we've seen away from emerging market assets in recent days with a big flight to safety and that has actually helped um, certainly in this overnight move by the Bank of Turkey uh, has actually helped um, emerging markets and uh, Asian markets find a bit of support um, and certainly um, the the appetite for risk has improved in Asia as a as as a result of this move overnight and certainly um, what we've seen I've got a chart here of the uh, of the Nikkei uh, big jump there in the in the Nikkei overnight so certainly regaining a little bit of poise in the overnight trading um, and um, that has certainly helped things um, the the trading today certainly will be now focusing on this Fed FOMC meeting which comes tonight um, and that um, is at seven o'clock the result of that meeting the expectation is of 10 billion further asset purchases reduction uh, to seven sorry to, from 75 to 65 billion um, and that uh, is likely that is coming at seven o'clock tonight so it could be a, a bit of a volatile evening um, on a lot of these uh, trading um, currencies and uh, also gold as well so watch out for that but as I said earlier the um, the big um, the big news was this um, dollar Turkish lira uh, trade and uh, my chart of the day is certainly suggests that um, it's actually found a, a low at that uh, spiked down towards that 216.19 level but it's actually now beginning to push back higher again and, and certainly um, that is that retracement that we've seen on the on the daily chart certainly gives us um, an indication that uh, maybe that move could have actually even been played out now on this uh, dollar on this dollar Turkish lira chart that that big retracement up from that high at 239 um, has found a low of the just above 216 and now pushing back towards this resistance band which comes in around uh, 2 which comes in around 224 225 so you may see um, a, a push back towards there and certainly pushing above that um, band of resistance there 223.16 to 225 so that may be where you're seeing this retracement come back to now um, in the early trading hours of today um, the likelihood is that um, the move by the Turkish bank um, is not going to be um, a longer term longer term buy signal for the lira it's just a um, plugging holes in this in the hole and whether these holes can be permanently stopped um, or not is um, unlikely to be honest because normally these moves are just um, just temporary and the fact that uh, the market tends to win so you'll probably find that Turkish Lira continues to be uh, come under pressure but this move um, this retracement that we saw overnight is is um, a, certainly a strong move but uh, could well see some uh, some moves back and um, um, that's what we're certainly what we're seeing in the early hours of trading up towards that 225 level once more so huge moves um, spiking around on this uh, dollar Turkish Lira chart anyway um, as I said earlier the um, the big move uh, is going to be seen tonight for the main markets on um, on the FOMC meeting result but also you've got um, other a couple of other announcements today you've got the oil in inventories at 130 that will be certainly playing on the uh, oil markets and also Reserve Bank of New Zealand um, monetary policy update up likely to maintain um, interest rates at 2.5 percent this evening so um, we wait for this uh, Fed meeting result and um, it that is um, the main crux of today's trading so uh, thank you very much for listening and I hope you get a chance to check out the other morning report charts which is uh, euro dollar 
cable, uh, dollar, yen and gold on our website and I wish you good luck with your trading today.